Hello everyone, this is Dr. Amit Hegde. I secured rank 28 in NATE PG 2020 and rank 56 in GIPMER and rank 155 in AIMS. Now I would like to tell you about uh, approaches to various entrance exams. So first of all, I will start with the most important thing, which is like thorough knowledge of every subject, which is most crucial for any entrance exam you write. So when you are reading for the first time, like uh, if you are in second year, third year, final year, though in that time also be strong with your basics and those who are uh, preparing like post interns or in internship, when you are reading your class material or class notes or any other uh, books, uh, sources you are referring, read it properly while you are reading for first time. Because the un understanding of the concept is most crucial in any entrance. If you are, if you have not understand, understand anything properly, then you will not be able to answer the question in the exam, uh, even though if you have revised it five to six times. So while you are giving for, while you are reading for the first time, read it properly and then solve MCQ simultaneously. For example, if you start with patho, you read the notes for two to three days or any and uh, if you have any doubt, refer standard textbooks like Robbins and see the images from Robbins, then start solving MCQs. If you are finding difficult uh, in any any of the chapters, then go back to notes, read once again and then again solve the MCQs. Solving MCQ will make your memory better. I have seen many people telling uh, my memory is not good. I am not able to remember. The best solution is to solve more. When you solve more, you will remember more. So uh, this this is how should be your uh, initial preparation. Like for first five to six months, we will read all the 19 subjects. During that time, solve as many as possible MCQs. And to solve MCQs, you have two types of sources. One uh, uh, one type is subject-wise guidebooks and other is online platforms. Both are good, but my personal opinion is subject-wise guidebooks are better. I think uh, you will remember more when you solve from the textbooks rather than solving on online platforms. So I used guidebooks for all 19 subjects during initial uh, phase of my preparation. So once you are done with all 19 subjects, like at least you should finish everything by September, one total reading, then you will start revising because in November you will have all three central institute exams and they are very important. You never know, like many people underestimate themselves, like I am not a candidate for central institute. Even I did the same mistake. So uh, even before November aims, you should revise everything once at least. So if you finish your first reading by September, then you will have two more months for your uh, revision. So uh, during revision also, you should you should be keep on solving MCQs, at least minimum of 100 MCQs per day. Otherwise, uh, you will like you will lose the touch of solving MCQs. Then you will find it difficult to solve uh, all the uh, like you will find it difficult to manage the time in exams. So it's very important uh, even during revision. If you revise one subject, but uh, one subject per day or two subject one subject per two or three days, you should solve MCQs daily of all 19 subjects. So you can, if you are subscribed for Maro or Preplad or any online platforms, you can use the custom modules. So you will get uh, questions from all 19 subjects and every day uh, you can keep on solving. And most important thing is giving grant tests. Grand test will tell you uh, in which position you are in entire competition. Initially, you might be uh, out of competition like... Uh, you might be in, uh, you might not get a good rank or good uh, score, but it will definitely improve gradually. Like uh, uh, some people will be good in solving MCQs and that kind of logic, so they will get good marks easily from the initial days only. And uh, some people may get time, some take time to uh, get a grip over solving MCQ. So they will come to the race, and they will they will also start getting good ranks after July or August. So it doesn't matter. Never underestimate yourself by seeing uh, rank or score in some grand test. Keep on giving grand tests so that you should be able to do uh, do your best in the central exams and NEET. So initially give grant test once in a month and from June or July make it twice uh, twice in a month and uh, from September def uh, you have to give one grant test a week. So you can see that you see your progression like how much you got during September and after one revision in at the end of October how much score you get and in which subjects you make more of mistakes or any particular topic you are uh, making mistakes in every exam. For example, some difficult topics like squint or uh, ECG arrhythmias in medicine or some uh, uh, scoring systems in surgery. Like we will have a lot of scoring systems like Nexus, uh, revised trauma score, etc. And uh, mainly in trauma part of surgery. So if you are, if you find it some uh, in some areas you are making repeated mistakes, then again read the notes properly. Uh, give it like a half day or one full day. You can uh, give it to uh, dedicate it to that so that uh, you will not make the same mistakes again and again. So in this way, grant test helps a lot to improve yourself. 
and one more very important thing is confidence you should believe in yourself and the confidence comes by solving mcqs like when you solve more questions uh, your grand test score will improve your rank will improve so that uh, you will get a confidence and uh, important thing is like uh, central institute exams if you are seriously preparing for aims pgi or gpmr you should finish your entire one reading and one revision by the end of october so that you will have next 10 to 12 days for aims you can focus on particular things which are frequently asked in aims for example last time they have asked uh, a clinical examination videos and uh, scoring videos like where some pediatric score was asked and uh, there are very simple things like hand washing steps intubation steps so uh, there are certain things clinical simple clinical things which are frequently asked in aims so in last 10 or 12 days you can focus more on those things and you can focus more on the topics which are asked in last 3 uh, to 4 sessions of aims so uh, for all the all those things you need to finish your revision by the end of october at least you will ha- you, ha- you should you should be having 10 to 12 days before the aims for let like, final preparation and for pgi it's like your ug knowledge also matters a lot and uh, it's like little bit you need a uh, more of memory and your uh, speed will be speed should be good to finish all it's like a 1250 questions and in gpmr it is exactly like neat but uh, they will ask some difficult type of questions and uh, usmle type of questions which are very long so gpmr will have 250 questions in 3 hours and very long questions so one uh, what i uh, like what i used that request to read the options first before the question then you will have an idea what examiner is asking so you can save a lot of time by doing this so that you can finish all 250 questions in this time neat was also like all paragraph questions and very lengthy questions so uh, if you write more grand tests and uh, like uh, if you read f- options first then uh, see the question like that some minor tricks you should use and yeah uh, repeated grand tests like i have given at least 45 to 50 grand tests in last one year so that helped me a lot to improve my answering speed so that i was easily i was able to finish all 300 questions in uh, the, this year neat because uh, majority of the students found it difficult to complete the paper itself if you don't attend uh, like if you don't see all 300 questions then uh, your rank will come back like you will be go you will go out of competition so uh, answering speed is also very crucial and it will not improve overnight so throughout your throughout the year you should give grand tests so that your answering speed will be improved and uh, for the people who are in second year third year or final year you you may join a coaching class but i don't i, I did not join any foundation batch coaching classes but nowadays like everyone will join so even you might have joined some coaching classes but uh, never think of exams or uh, don't try much of answering mcqs and all because uh, in those days you should read well the basics you read in second year third year and final year uh, will matter a lot in your entrance exams for example i will give you my own example uh, i read harrison and bailey and love in final year so in during entrance preparation i had some screenshots 100 100 to 110 screen screenshots from bailey and harrison in every exam i got some five six questions from those exact tables and uh, diagrams or flow charts from those two standard books once you go to internship you can start preparing from the first year or second year subjects because uh, like you might forget them because you have studied it for 3 4 years back start with first and second year subjects only but uh, during final year don't try to study other subjects because those four subjects are very crucial so focus on those subjects itself and uh, apart from all these things uh, you need to have a calm mind and a cool uh, approach towards your exams and rank or whatever don't burden yourself with a pressure of like i should get into this institute uh, this branch and this much rank because uh, be free and uh, do your effort uh, definitely you will get a good result so uh, all the best to every one of you and uh, i would like to thank dr kishan rao he is like my brother uh, he helped me a lot in uh, bangalore medical college when i was his junior and he is always uh, been a motivator and a mentor for me and uh, i would like to thank him and all the uh, 